white in front and then white to the left. Tony, does this performance tonight maybe speak to how far the team has come since that game to South Bend? Yeah, I mean, I, I have a lot of respect for Notre Dame. Um, all their coaches, but this one guy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> certainly respect Coach Kettle and Coach Shrewsbury. We have good young coaches in our league. The, their, the stuff that they run, and Notre Dame is a, a promising young team. And you know, you just look at Burton. I mean, I, his quickness is real. I mean, Reese is a, a special defender in some of the plays he made. Uh, but, but in saying that to us, I thought even though their numbers were good, shooting percentages somewhere in transition and. Uh, a few things there, we, we for the most part made them earn. And good offensive team, good shooting teams, you can't always stop them. Your job is just to, to make them earn. And I thought we moved hard offensively and kind of was the accumulation effect of both. But um, they run a lot of tricky stuff, similar to Virginia Tech, lead screen, dribble handoffs. You gotta stay uh, on your horse, as we like to say. You gotta keep, you can't can't get knocked off. You gotta just keep going and, and being with those guys. and. Um, I thought for the most part there were some tough defensive stands. Um, I thought Tane gave us a lift, but then offensively, you know, it was good to see Jake play like that, Reese, um, different guys at different times. So, yes, we've improved, um, shorten our rotation in this game, but, you know, doesn't mean that's going to be the case. But um, as I said, it's a team that they've been close in every game in Notre Dame, and with their shooting, they can be attached. Tony, you mentioned Jake, and, and since Jordan's been back, he hasn't had to play the five. He's playing that stretch four that is such a better fit. Um, what did you like in the way he moved last game and, and this one? Yeah, I think, um, you know, we've been using Jordan, and uh, Blake was a little, we had a couple guys under the weather, and I think they were, you could see they're a little gassed, and you needed a full tank in this one, uh, the way Notre Dame moves you. But Blake and Jordan sort of play that five position, Jordan a little more, but Blake, and then it allows um, Jake to, you know, play I think his natural position and not have to maybe guard and be locked in against some of those big strong bodies though he'll have to at times but his ability to stretch the floor and uh, again uh, shoot the ball and that that showed in the first half it was just beautiful and in the second half and I thought Reese and the guys did a good job of finding them and they were trying to switch and do some things and a couple times they got lost uh, but gave us a great lift. Reese has had four threes, had four threes today. Yep. I think that's the most he's had in the game this season. Uh, what did you see from him tonight in terms of did he, did he get the right looks? What did you see? Yeah, I know he's a little, little gassed under the weather, too. Um, he uncharacteristically, and I said, look, that kid in the start of the second half tipped his ball. He's got some quick reflexes. Um, but I thought Reese was overall terrific because, you know, his ability, you know, six assists, uh, the turnovers he's got to tighten up. I'll always look at him with a critical eye in those spots. I thought to start the game and to start the second half, he wasn't as sharp and sound with his sureness, but uh, some of the pull-ups, some of the drives, uh, some of the steals defensively guarding that guy. And then, you know, he really has, I don't even know numbers wise what it looks like, but he's improved his shot. And um, he's, he's playing a real good floor game, but also finding the right mix of looking for his shot. And then he's got to be just um, as, as stingy as possible defensively for us. We'll take two over here and then two. Hey, Tony, you guys hit 13 threes tonight as opposed to just two last game against the Irish. So what was different on offense that led to all these open looks? Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I think we have improved. We got some decent looks against them there. <clears throat> sometimes the shots go in, sometimes they don't. I thought why we've been a better team as of late is we've been better defensively. And I think that that helps a lot of a lot of things. We've just simplified, we've worked, and we've tried to just offensively um, even simplify and move real hard and challenge. And the way we've worked on our shooting and our stuff at practice, um, you know, it's it's showed. Now again, doesn't mean you're always going to make. We'll take 13 out of 25 from three. They were nine of 18, so it was a shooter's game, even though it was lower scoring. But um, it was good to see, and Jake helped out a lot. But. Uh, Isaac was was moving hard, getting some good looks, and Notre Dame is one of the better defensive teams, points per possession in our league. I think they're second. Carolina's first, they're second, we're third. So we had to work, um, and again, hopefully in our work and to get those shots, shooting good shots, that's always the key. And maybe that wears them down a little bit. It was just one of those kind of games. Hank and then Nick Parker. Tony, you guys have kind of lived in the top 10 for much of the past several seasons. Um, a lot of transition this year, people leaving, people coming in. How do you feel like you guys are making that transition? How how smooth has it gotten? How much better has it gotten as 
some of the guys that didn't have a lot of experience have kind of gotten some. I think it showed. Uh, I think we're improving. Um, still have a, a ways to go, and you just got to show up every day and practice in every game. But early, you could see trying to find our identity, trying to myself, trying to figure out how to help these guys to play the best way. And as I kept saying, we just kept chipping away, simplifying some things on both ends, and and really demanding more, quite honestly, um, but also being more patient, if that makes sense. Um, but it, it it's in practice, it's been done. And we're just digging in and trying to figure it out. And um, and again, I think guys are getting a little more comfortable. You know, the emergence of Jordan and Dante. Dante was out for that stretch. He, he did a really good job and gave us a lift. His quickness defensively, touching the paint, making some plays, and then the experience with the physicality of Jordan. So those two pieces, the emergence of Tane has almost added to the personnel. But you've got to go through some stuff and figure it out. And, uh, you know, I'm glad we're, we're getting there and we, we still got a ways to go, of course. Okay, and Parker. And yeah, but it hasn't been a smooth transition, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> you touched on Jake a little bit earlier, but he was just in such a group tonight. How important it was was the, the rhythm that he got in from behind the arc? Yeah, it was very important. I think he had five threes, um, five in the first half. Jake Groove Groves, there we go, <laughs> I guess. So, uh, he was. <laughs> Groves was grooving tonight. No, he had his rhythm, and you could just see it. The ball was coming out of his hand. Ran a couple actions for him, and um, and the guys did a good job of finding him. Okay. Tony, you guys have kind of shook off the, the road losing streak. You've got a couple of wins there. Clemson, a, a different maybe level of opponent. Uh, how good do you feel about where this team is right now, and how big a test will an opponent like Clemson at their place be? Big test. Uh, they all are. I, I feel. Um, good about tonight. We'll figure out what we got to do tomorrow. We'll have a good prep day leading into the, the Clemson game. And of course, no one on the road, um, they're a mature, real veteran physical team that uh, is one of the better teams. You know, I think in our league, I don't, you know, record wise, you saw they were, they had one at Duke. It was right to the wire. Uh, they can play. Um, and a lot of respect again for their, their coach, their, their maturity, and it'll be a different kind of game. That's what makes the ACC um, you see spacing teams, you see physical in power teams. Um, you got to show up and play, but we know the way, and we'll just have to try to do it and be faithful to it. Okay. Coach, what you see in Notre Dame for the second time, did you feel like the players understood what their strengths were and was able to execute to take away some of those things, in particular, Marcus? Yeah, I mean, they. I mean, they, they outplayed us. I mean, they, they really took it to us. We didn't have answers. We weren't good defensively. Again, we've changed some things we're doing a little bit. Um, and offensively, we struggled. And they just, we almost were a step behind in every way, shape, and form. So I think, of course, they had our attention. And we knew how good Burton was. I mean, that he was good tonight. And he was really good down there. And they I remember they hit some tough shots at the end of the shot clock. But I just knew we had a to be ready to go. And even though as well as we were playing, they cut it to seven or eight in the second half um, because of their ability to shoot. So I think we were ready. I don't know if it was so much, um, you know, not knowing what they're going to do. But uh, yeah, the second time, I think we knew they were going to run some things and study their film and just came with a simpler approach this time. But it took great effort. And it was, our guys were, were uh, I think, pretty fatigued. You know, it was a hard fought win. Thanks, Tony. Yep, Coach Shrewsbury, and then uh, 